The wonderful thing about doing something online is that somebody will always tell you if you got something wrong, even if you were right. But having received so many comments in my recent sounds video telling me I was wrong about this or I'd forgotten that, it doesn't even matter one way or the other anymore. People need clarification. So let's begin. Planted bombs beep. The beeping sound they make depends on whether they're planted at bombsite A or on bombsite B. Here is a comparison. I didn't bother covering this at all in the previous video because it's not exactly a sound that a player makes, is it? And to be honest, I thought everybody knew this already, but it seems like many people hadn't even noticed. I covered this change to the beeping sounds almost four and a half years ago in this video, in August 2018. I suspect what caused this change was when, in a pro match just before the change occurred, Team Liquid lost a round when they accidentally went to the wrong bombsite or nuke. When even the pros are being thwarted by CSGO's audio, you know that something needs changing, and so slightly different bomb beeping sounds were introduced as yet another attempt by Valve to try and clear up confusion on a very confusing map. One comment that I received thought that a bomb being dropped and rolled along the floor couldn't be heard by CTs. Here's what I think to that. And this. CTs can hear the bomb being dropped and rolled. So please, stop dropping the bomb every round for somebody else to carry. It can also be heard being picked up but only if the terrorist picking it up is running at the time. So it's the same rules as picking up weapons then. As for masking the sound of diffuses, yes, you can hide it by detonating a grenade at the same time. Or by firing a weapon. Or by smoking a Molotov. Thanks for that, Walter. But the diffusing noise is still being made. It's simply being masked by a louder sound. That doesn't just apply to the diffuse sound. Many sounds in this game can be concealed by louder ones, but testing all the different combinations of this is one of those things that's probably just as boring for me to test as it is for you to watch. This one suggests I could test the distance that every sound can be heard from, which could actually be a future video of mine, because it sounds really boring, yet might be surprisingly fun to watch as you're in the shower or chowing down on your seventh tin of beans for the day. But all in good time. Let's figure out which sounds could be heard first. Does picking up grenades make a noise? Yes, but again, only if you're running at the time. To be more technical with this, it's not about running or walking. It's more a matter of if you can hear footsteps, then you'll also hear when things are being picked up. Have the walk or crouch key pressed as you're picking things up to ensure silence. According to comments, you can hear the pins being pulled out from flash grenades. But I can assure you this isn't the case. Here's an example. And here it is amplified just to make sure. But what if you're on the same team as somebody who is pulling a pin? Nope, still nothing. But what about spectating? Nope, still nothing. Not until you're in the first person view, and then you can finally hear the sounds. But by then you're practically inside that person, so you'd expect to hear them pulling on it, wouldn't you? The only grenade that enemies can hear being primed is the Molotov which does that fiery sound, as covered in my first video. There is, however, a bug with grenades. If you throw one, but quickly switch to another item before it's really thrown, then it will play a shuffly sound, which can be heard by enemies. Hear it for yourself. Do different grenades make different sounds when bouncing off walls? And this might surprise you, because all grenades sound different from one another, apart from the decoy, which sounds the same as the flashbang. Might as well start with those. The smoke grenade is like a triple bluff, because it uses a different sound file to the flashes, but that sound file is exactly the same. But also not. Listen carefully. And now the flashes. And if I alternate between the two, the difference becomes more obvious. Yes, the smoke is louder. I think here we've discovered another bug because it seems like the smoke grenade is playing two different bounce sounds. Sometimes they're slightly out of sync, like this. But other times they're in sync. And I suppose the two different sound files combine to sound louder than were there just one bounce sound being played. Valve please fix? Moving on to the other grenade types, the Molotov is made of glass, and so its bounce sound is unique. It doesn't have its own bounce sound. It's simply reusing an older glass sound effect from Source's archives. But the incendiary grenade sounds unique as well because it's the only grenade to use the high explosive grenade's bounce sound in conjunction with the fiery <laughs> sound. And I noticed the double bounce bug here as well. Oh, and last, the HE grenades sound like the incendiary grenades, but without their 
So it did surprise me a bit to discover how many different variations of bounce sounds there are in Counter-Strike. A few people pointed out jiggle peeking as a silent way to move, but just like the sand walking from June, it's too silly to justify. All it is that your character doesn't reach the velocity required to start making footsteps. In theory, you could master the art of tapping the movement button to get the most velocity possible before this sound effect kicks in. But in reality, unless you have an analog keyboard, this isn't too practical and the walk button is a much better and more reliable bet if you want to move silently. Can enemies hear the click of an empty gun when you're trying to shoot with no ammo? Yes. Compared with firing bullets, it's not quite so loud and is in fact loudest when closest to their feet. And it's surprisingly difficult to do, what with Counter-Strike's automatic reloading whenever you have an empty weapon equipped. I feel like the reloading animation is more likely to give away that your gun is empty. The revolver's click, as it's charging up to fire, can be heard by enemies. So be careful with that. I was asked to see if the XM1014 made any sounds when switching and stuff, but I couldn't find anything unusual. What if weapons are dropped onto higher surfaces? Now this is harder to do than it sounds. I guess this was asked following on from how I said there's no landing sound if you land on something higher than where you started from. But in my limited testing on this topic, they still made a sound, even when landing higher up than from where they started. I could have gone to the effort of making a custom map to test this super specific and irrelevant thing that nobody really cares about. Here it is. You hear that? No, you don't. Because when it only narrowly scrapes over the top of a higher object, all you can hear is the scraping sound, and not the impact one. That there is a height of 128 units, or the standard height for a Counter-Strike texture, slash interior wall, slash two crates, slash 18 bananas. Can the AUG and SG be heard being scoped? Yes. Just like I said in the last video, scoped weapons can be heard scoping in. People love to use the word forgot when telling me I didn't feature something, when really, it would just take too long to show every combination of every sound. It could be that I've missed a few exceptions, but unless you have proof, please don't ask me to investigate all of them. Interestingly, while he's scoping in and out, you can see the character's model physically vibrating a bit as he's doing this, but only if he's moving at the time. So it does mean you could give away that you're scoping or unscoping even from beyond the audible range. But then what use does that have? If you see an enemy, it doesn't matter if they're scoping in or out. You shoot them, don't you? And finally, you can hear enemies using spray paint. Pay to lose. Sometimes I wonder how I did it. I look at that sound video I made in 2015 with 1.4 million views and a positive reception and I think, wow, 2015 Three Clicks Philip really thought of everything. He didn't, I mean I didn't, I just did a solid job at a task that few people knew about and attempted back then. But modern day CSGO is a different beast. The standard of play is much higher and people expect more. It isn't enough to have a video covering lots of the sounds that you can hear. People want all of the sounds, all of the quirks and all of the exploits. I do just feel that 2022, 2023 CSGO on YouTube is a very different beast from how it was eight years ago. And I'll do my best to keep up.